Good day, Math Baris. Sir Sherwin here, your math instructor. Welcome to another content where we are learning mathematics lesson in an exciting and interesting way. And for today's video, we will learn on how to transform the vertex form or standard form of a quadratic function. Y is equal to A times the quantity X minus H squared plus K into the general form y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. But first, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification bell for more updated contents. Alright, dear math buddies, as what we mentioned a while ago, today we will learn on how to transform the standard form or vertex form of a quadratic function into the general form y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. In our previous video, we've learned on how to transform the general form into vertex form. And you can click the link on our description for the details of that topic. So this time, we'll do the other way. Let's simply transform vertex form into the general form of a quadratic function. Let's try to do this. Alright, so our task is simply transform the vertex form into the general form. So we've learned that vertex form is written as y equals a times the quantity x minus h squared plus k. And our target is to write this one into general form written as y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So let's try to have our first example. Supposing our first example is y equals 2 times the quantity x plus 4 squared minus 3. <clears throat> and this certain function, 2 represents our a, while our h is negative 4, and our k is negative 3. So what would be the first step in transforming this vertex form into the general form? So first is... We will expand this square of a binomial into a perfect square trinomial. So that is y equals 2 times the quantity. The expanded form of this square of a binomial would be square of the first term. That would be x squared. Then get the product of two terms, x times 4. That would be 4x. This product will be multiplied to 2. So, 4x times 2, that is 8x. And for our third term, it would be the square of our second term. So, 4 squared is 16. So, we've learned that in expanding our square of a binomial, it will lead us to a perfect square trinomial. That would be the first step. So, we will simply copy minus 3. After this, we will try to distribute the value of our a to the terms inside the parentheses. So that is y equals, so distribute 2 to our first term, that would be x squared. So we will have 2x squared. Then, distribute 2 to 8x, our second term. So that is 16x. And distribute 2 to the third term, which is 16. So 2 times 16, that would be 32. And this time, we will copy minus 3. After this, we will try to combine our constants 32 minus 3. That is y equals 2x squared plus 16x plus 29. So this is now the general form of our quadratic function, where a is 2, b is 16, and c is 29. So let's try to have our second example. So we have y is equal to negative 2 times the quantity x minus 1 squared plus 6. So how will we transform this given function? Again, first step is we will expand this square of a binomial into a perfect square trinomial. So this leads us to y is equal to negative 2 expand our square of a binomial by squaring the first term 
So our first term here is x, so squaring x, that would be x squared. Then our second term is, it would be the product of our first term and the second term. So x times negative 1, that would be negative x. And this product will be multiplied to 2. So we have negative x times 2, we will have negative 2x. And for our third term, it is simply squaring our second term. So negative 1 squared will always lead us to a positive result. And that would be positive 1. So we will copy plus 6. After this, we will try to distribute negative 2 to the terms inside the parentheses. So applying distributive property, we will have negative 2 times x squared. We have negative 2x squared. Negative 2 times negative 2x, we will have positive 4x. And negative 2 times 1, we have negative 2. And we will copy the remaining constant, which is 6. Then, we will simply combine our constants negative 2 plus 6. So y is equal to negative 2x squared plus 4x. Since we have different sign, all we need to do is to proceed to subtraction and copy the sign of the bigger number. So, negative 2 plus 6 will have a result of positive 4. So, this would be the general form of our quadratic function. y is equal to negative 2x squared plus 4x plus 4, where a is negative 2, b is positive 4, and c is positive 4. <laughs> Let's have our third example. Our given function is y equals 1 half times the quantity x minus 5 squared minus 3 halves. So what would be our general form? So first thing we need to remember again in transforming vertex form into general form is that we will try to expand first our square of a binomial. So our square of a binomial is quantity x minus 5 squared. So it will lead us to 1 half. We will expand this one first, squaring our first term. So x squared, that would be x squared. Then getting the product of x and negative 5, that would be x times negative 5. It's negative 5x. And this product will be doubled. That means it will be multiplied to 2. So negative 5x times 2 will lead us to a result which is negative 10x. And for our third term, it is simply the square of negative 5. So negative 5 squared, that would be positive 25. Then, copy minus 3 halves. After this, we will distribute 1 half to our perfect square trinomial. So using distributive property, we will multiply 1 half to our terms inside the parentheses. That means 1 half times x squared, that would be 1 half x squared. 1 half times negative 10x, that is negative 10 over 2x. And 1 half times... 25, that would be 25 over 2. And we simply copy minus 3 halves. Then, we will simplify 10 over 2. So we can also combine 25 halves and 3 halves by subtracting 3 halves from 25 over 2. So that is y equals 1 half x squared. Then simplifying... 10 over 2, that is 5x. And combining 25 and 3, that is 22. So we have positive 22 over 2. Of course, 22 over 2 can be written also in terms of whole number. So we can have our final answer as, we have this area. So our final answer would be, y is equal to 1 half, x squared minus 5x plus 11. So this would be the general form of a quadratic function.
where our A is 1 half, our B is negative 5, and our C is positive 11. Let's try to have our fourth example. Given f of x is equal to negative 3 times the quantity x plus 7 squared minus 11. So here in our fourth example, we notice that we are using f of x. So f of x is considered to be equal or equivalent to our variable y. This would be the function of x. So f of x is equal to negative 3 times the quantity x plus 7 squared minus 11. This would be our vertex form or standard form. And thus given, h is negative 7 and our k is negative 11. So first thing we need to remember in transforming vertex form into the general form is that we will expand square of a binomial into perfect square trinomial. This means we will try to expand first quantity x plus 7 squared. So it will lead us to f of x is equal to copy our a which is negative 3. Then expanding square of a binomial by squaring the first term. So squaring x that would be x squared. Then getting the product of our two terms. So that is x times 7. The product is 7x. So this product will be doubled. That means it will be multiplied to 2. So 7x times 2 will have a result of 14x. And squaring the second term. Squaring 7, that will lead us to 49. So we will have plus 49 and again minus 11. So after this, we will try to apply distributive property as we distribute negative 3 to the terms inside the parenthesis. So it leads us to f of x is equal to multiplying negative 3 to our first term, x squared. It is negative 3x squared. Then, negative 3 times 14x, that would be negative 42x. And multiplying negative 3 to our third term, which is 49. So the result is negative 147. And copy minus 11. Then we will simplify by combining negative 147 minus 11, which leads us to f of x equals negative 3x squared minus 42x minus 158. So this will serve as our final answer as we transform f of x equals negative 3 times the quantity x plus 7 squared minus 11 into the general form f of x is equal to negative 3x squared minus 42x minus 158 where a is negative 3, b is negative 42, and c is negative 158. Let's try to have our fifth example. So... Our given is f of x is equal to x plus 1 squared minus 5. So for us to transform our given vertex form into general form, first thing we need to remember is that we will expand quantity x plus 1 squared into a perfect square trinomial. So this leads us to f of x is equal to squaring first term. So x squared getting the product of x and 1 that would be x times 1 so the product is x double it so x times 2 that would be 2x and squaring 1 as our third term so squaring 1 that is equivalent to 1 and copy minus 5 then let's combine 1 minus 5 to determine our final general form so that would be f of x is equal to x squared plus 2x minus 4. So this is considered to be the general form of our quadratic function. Where our a is equal to 1, our b is positive 2, and c is negative 4. There you have it. Hope you learned something new today. God bless us all.